Okay, I've got a couple files open here. I've got actioncreators.js, which is uh, the file that actually makes our actions that are about to get dispatched. Remember, an action is just an object with some information about what happened and what needs to change. In this case, the index or the post ID, the comment. We've, we've gone over that a few times now. Um, and then I'm also going to open up the reducer's posts and the reducer's comments. And uh, as a quick reminder, the reducer actually does the editing of state. So we let's take a look at this post right here. Uh, right now, I'm just console logging action, but maybe let's pop another console log. Uh, the post will change. So anything that happens inside of the post that this reducer is going to handle that, right? So now how do we hook the two on up? Um, the way that it works is that we dispatch an action and then the posts reducer is going to be listening for that and it's going to handle that action. So I'm going to show you how to manually do it. Um, and by the way, sometimes you're going to see this little error um, showing up or this little warning following modules cannot be hot reloaded. That's because only components can be hot reloaded. So if you're uh, if you're reloading some of your other logic in your JavaScript, you have to do a hard refresh right here. So uh, we've got a bunch of stuff in the console here. Let's just clear it out. And then let's go to our React Dev Tools, select the provider, because I want to access this store. You may notice inside of the store, there is a dispatch method. And that's the, that's the method that we're going to call in order to fire off these actions. So I'm going to click on the provider. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to do $r.store. And that gives us the actual store here. And you can notice that that's the dispatch method that we need here. So dollar dot dispatch. Now, what do you dispatch? You actually just dispatch an action. So uh, let's let's look at this increment one. Like, let's say I wanted to increment the amount of likes on one of my photos here. Essentially, what needs to get dispatched at the end of the day is just an object that looks like this. So uh, we can manually recreate that ourselves instead of hooking it up to a button. We haven't done that yet. So let's say type is increment underscore likes and the index is let's just do zero the first post in the array is going to get incremented likes for us so uh, when i go ahead and hit enter that's going to fire off or dispatch that actual action and let's see what happens whoa okay the post will change that happened in posts.js on line seven that's right here good that makes sense and then we console log the entire state and the entire action which this is the entire state right here. You can see that the, those are all the posts. And then this is the actual action that happened. And then we had another one in, in comments JS, which that's kind of weird because uh, didn't we just fire off a post one? Why is comments running? So let's take a look at what we got here. We've got the entire state of comments. These are all the comments that have happened. And then we also have the actual action that got fired off. So interesting, what happened here is that, and this is sort of foundational to Redux, is that every time that you run an action or every time that you dispatch an action, every single reducer is going to run. Every single reducer is going to run and whether you choose to act on that action or not is up to the reducer. So this reducer is going to run, this reducer is going to run, and we need to write some logic inside of this post that will say if it is one of the actions that I'm actually interested in, in this case, we're actually interested in increment likes for the post one, then do something. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to return state and nothing is going to happen. So I'll say that once more, that's pretty foundational. Every reducer runs every time there is an action, whether something actually changes in state is up to you. And that's where we're going to start writing a switch statement in order to handle all of the different action types. But first, before we do that, let's get something showing up on the thing, because I don't know about you, but I'm ready to actually view some stuff. Um, this stuff takes a little bit of setup to get going, and I want to view some actual pictures. I want some pups. I want some, uh, I don't know, some fun photos showing up here so that when we actually update any of our data, we're going to actually see it visually changing rather than having to, to live in the console. <laughs> 